last time I promised to show how it went at my work, it wasn't easy to bring it to you. Video editing took a lot of time due to my beginner skills and glitchy software, which I was forced to replace with another finally, and learn everything from scratch. Bergen, no way, my work country. Soon someone is going to pick me up, waiting for the car. It's half past nine in the morning and I'm driving to place where I will start with the work. As far as I know, we have to renovate the old kitchen. So I'm taking the tools, trailer with the tools behind me. Village got funny name, Me King, which is spelled like, a, like my king. about to extend the kitchen and make the new hallway. The plan is existing kitchen, what is behind this window, extend about one and a half meter pallet. So I have started to strip down the cladding in order to evaluate the house structure. The biggest part of this wall is going to be taken down. I have to see what, in what condition it is and, and uh, do some reinforcement. And after that I have to build the new foundation for extension. I'm driving from building supply store. I got foundation blocks on trailer behind and a reinforcement. It, the plan was to have ready insulated foundation elements but they didn't have at the store and delivery time was too long for me. I cannot wait. So I took ordinary blocks and I will insulate them later. I should take also concrete mortar, but the house I'm working on is on a steep hill, so it would be too much weight on the trailer. I have to go to store tomorrow and get the mortar, but for today I have enough time, enough work, so I can proceed with foundation blocks to set them up. We got so much snow just over the night and the roads are quite slippery. So I'm going to check the condition of the road. So I have to come up there and back here with a trailer. I was stupid enough to try a full trailer again. I made it halfway and I was forced to drive all the way back. Then I took blocks in the car and drove them up six at a time. Again, I am on the way to building store to get some material. It's nice weather today.
I couldn't get insulation LDF sheets and heap of lumber on trailer at once, so I had to drive twice to store. First I took 2x8s and 2x4s, and I had the same problem as before, to get them uphill. First I thought I could borrow the house owner's tractor to pull the trailer, but I couldn't find a way to start it, and it hadn't any proper hook to attach the trailer. I had not much time before the store is closing, so I carried all lumber on my shoulders. It was tough, but I took it as an exercise which helps me to keep fit. I got back to store on time and brought the insulation and other things too. But in the end of the day I felt kind of frustrated because I spent so much effort and nothing was built yet. See how I made foundation because it was raining a lot and I was hurrying to pour concrete before weekend, so it had enough time to cure before I continued. I have done small job on this house before and I knew it won't be easy because it hasn't any proper corner to start from. But I didn't know that I have to make so many changes which made it more complicated. I used to fasten silk plate at the ends, ends first and then straighten it out according to the line. to have somebody to help straighten out the top plate but this time I had to use crowbar and screw what I screwed temporary into the joist to be honest I like to work alone because every man has his own approach and techniques and even though I'm trying to be flexible I don't like to adapt to everyone I work with Clamps are helpful too when you need them bend trimmers and studs and hold them in place while nailing them.
Framing is one of my favorite works. This is the point where a big part of planning and calculation is done and results become visible. Normally I would nail wall on the ground and then lift in the place. But this house is very old and obviously reconstructed many times before. And I had to deal with skew roof, measure every stud and cut in different lengths. In winters, here on the west coast of Norway, we get very few days without rain, so I have to get walls tight as soon as possible. I decided to insulate foundation as well while I got good access to it. surface was so small I glued polystyrene sheets with a polyurethane foam instead of a conventional adhesive. It seals everything and has good strength and adhesive properties. on the wind barrier. Very often we make corners different ways so we get access for insulation after we have put on windbreak. But here I needed place for a king stud so I could make proper header over the door and the window. Both solutions are okay but in this case it's very important to remember about insulation. We have forgotten it a couple of times, but we discovered that just in time, so it was not difficult to correct this mistake. Windbreak sheets went easy. Once walls got covered, the things went easier. I got place where to hide tools and material from bad weather conditions. what I could do outside so far because of window and cladding delivery was about two weeks away but it's okay to leave walls in such condition for short periods
temporarily installed the door, made walls somewhat tight and was looking forward to work inside because I was tired of bad weather. What I did inside you will see in next episode. See you then. Bye.